So high res has just announced this golden bolt award and in order to be nominated obviously you have to have a community nominate you so i am asking you guys please click on the first link which will be in the description it will take you to this page all you have to do is click nominate which will take you to this page you click on streamer or video creator of the year probably both for me honestly um which will take you to this page you just put in my social, my Twitch, and my Twitter right here. Which you can find in the description below. And then uh, additional information, you know, type in whatever you want. And then you said next. And that will be nominated for me. Thank you guys so much for doing it. And um, even if you don't do it, thank you for watching. I appreciate you and peace. Yo, what's going on, Sexy Sound Letter Squad? I banned these gods. He banned those gods. I kind of predicted he was going to play Hebo, so I picked Fenrir, which should just be straight up one of the easiest dubs of my life. So basically what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go damage and go with a runic shield start here. Um, start with this and go into blink. The reason I'm going into blink is because if I get close to him, he dies, right? I max the three. Because he has no way of escaping my three. <coughs> and then I invade him because, like I said, he has no way of getting out of my three. And if I can actually hit him with it, he is big deceased. And I don't see him yet. Doing a speed buff? He is doing a speed buff. Okay. I will invade if he decides to double buff, which I think he is deciding to double buff. Hmm. Not a kill. But close. Oh, good Aegis. Good Aegis. Oh, he started Warrior's Blessing too, huh? Alright. He played the early game really smart. I feel like I'm missing everything, dude. I'm actually dead. I'll tear you to pieces. Hmm. Did he start? I think what happened was he started mana pots and mana buffs or like mana pots and multi pots and then just went to speed buff because he knew i was going to invade hmm, this man knows how to play this video game pretty fucking well huh maybe we do have a game on our hands but then again he doesn't have beads so if I do land a stun, I think he dies. My game plan is basically just to annoy the shit out of him. Damn, he actually lived, huh? 
That warrior's blessing really doing a lot of work for him, huh? Alright, alright, fine. I'm gonna get my runic shield online now, though, which is a big help. It's a huge help. And every level until my 3 is maxed is a giant power spike for me, by the way. He has his Aegis back up. Keep that in mind. Aegis is down. It's actually pretty big for me. Go get this speed buff. By speed buff, I mean red buff, obviously. go so basically that's how this game should go oh somebody just hosted somebody else um sorry about that yeah that's pretty much how this game should go every time like i i don't think there's there's a scenario where it doesn't go like that, right? Like, I ult him, and then I 3 him, and he should die. If he doesn't die, then I panic. Because... Huh, then I die. <laughs> if he doesn't die, I die. So I really need him to die when I do that. He doesn't have Aegis up, by the way. <laughs> like I didn't even hit this stun on my one and I was under his tower half that time and we still were able to get the kill there that's a matchup difference dude holy shit that is a matchup difference I don't know if I'm gonna go boots this game by the way I don't really know if I need to. It is a good power spike to have though, but I think I'm gonna need beat stick. Hmm. I don't think I can kill him without my ult. So when my ult's down, I think he's relatively safe. Unfortunately. Ah. With my three down, he is very safe.
we got his Aegis and his ult there. That's pretty good. Damn, he went to his Phoenix. That is the right play, though, because if he comes back to tower, he just dies, so. Good play. Also, I don't want him to have blue buff for obvious reasons. That means more casts, more movement, more sustain, more annoyance. Aw, oh, man. Okay, he almost died to my three there. So I'm gonna just push in because I have my one up, so. And now, we can start working on the, uh, on the bull demon. Let's go back. He does have Bancrofts now, but I'm just gonna go straight boots, actually. It's like 40 power is so much. 40 power is actually so much. I think I'm going to go Aegis just in case a fight does get a little bit risky. In case a fight does get a little risky. And I'm going to go blue buff here too because the cooldown. With blue buff and a finished transcendence, I'm only 20% off max. So... I think what I'll probably do... Ordered there, right? I can't catch him. That's fine. He must think I went to Bull Demon, right? He's doing a speed buff. What the hell? He's just AFK. Maybe I was standing in a ward the whole time. The only way I would... It would make sense that he played like that. Um. Alright. Well, actually, that should just be a Phoenix, to be honest. No bull demon necessary for me, actually. Not bad. Come here, let me eat your ass. Let me eat your ass. Nice. Nice. GG. That guy played the early game really good, but like... You can't. You can't beat Fenrir as Hebo. It's just not possible. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.